What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. And well, you guys have seen the title and I'm pretty sure probably a lot of you guys have seen this on my Instagram or TikTok if you follow me on those. If not, they'll be in the description. But obviously you guys have seen the title and probably the thumbnail too, but I did kill a deer for 2021's deer season. So um, yeah, it was pretty nice. It was an eight pointer and I'm getting it mounted, so I'll probably film whenever that comes back, but I'm hanging it like right here to the right of me. You guys have seen that one deer, that's actually a step, my stepdad's deer that he shot like 10 years ago. So yeah, it's pretty old, but I got it in my room. And he actually shot one this year, and the boys, it, it's a good one, okay? It's bigger than mine, it makes mine look small. I mean, mine is, it's a young deer, it's probably like a two year old, two and a half. So um, yeah, it's pretty young, but other than that, the only deer I killed is a spike, and that's a, like a yearling. Not really a yearling, but like a, like one. So it's, both deer I've shot are young, but now I gotta wait for a big boy, like that one in my room, or like one I said that shot, which I probably won't ever shoot one like that in my life, because that one is massive. But I'll show you his, whenever his mount comes in. It should be coming around January, February, March, something like that. Mine should be coming around like May. So first things first, you guys have seen my first hunting video of the year, and well, that was at deer camp where my uncle's farm, and nobody shot anything that whole weekend, but the next weekend on November 20th, that is when I shot this deer. So I am 14, and well, this is my last year that I have an apprentice license, which basically, if you don't know what that is, it is my license for hunting. I have to be with someone who's licensed, because basically my license is like a student license, so I have to have someone that already has their license, was hunting with me so that way I can shoot a deer if I see one and I'm gonna shoot it but this is actually my last year having an apprentice license and I've had it for three years now and sometime this year I'm gonna do this hunter's ed course so I'm gonna get be able to get my license and so this season for 2022 I'm actually going to be able to hunt by myself legally because well I probably shouldn't be saying this on YouTube but I technically shot that deer by myself but just I was hunting in the tree stand by myself, but my stepdad was like on the ground, like 30 yards away, but he could see me at all times. So he know, he knew exactly what I was doing pretty much the whole time, which I guess was hunting. But you're technically not supposed to do that. He's technically supposed to be in the stand with me, but the stand isn't really strapped down that well because well, we just made sure that the tree stand was attached to the tree. But for two people, because I weigh like 140, he weighs like almost 300, I think, but he's a big dude. So yeah, both of us up there probably wouldn't be good. So I technically shot it by myself, but I know what you guys are waiting for. Obviously, I got it on camera for the first time in forever, but it's probably not the footage you guys would want. I'm sure some of you have probably already seen it. It is my GoPro, my head mount on this. This is the only camera that I brought was my GoPro. So I don't have anything on my other camera. So that's the only footage I have of me shooting it. So that whole video i'm just gonna play it for you right now and show you all the important parts i guess and i'll probably zoom in on the deer to see if i can see it so it might be several parts over and over again so yeah
So yeah, that's the deer that I shot. Oh, well, I mean, you saw the shot. So I shot it at like 7.50 a.m. because I called my stepdad at 7.51. And I actually have that on GoPro footage too, but I just, I guess I won't show that just because, well, it's kind of a personal thing. I actually got for Christmas a camera arm so I can actually use my camera when I'm hunting by myself next year and be able to function it. So I'm gonna show you guys that camera arm. This is the camera arm we're talking about. It's a muddy, it's a basic camera arm. So this part goes into like a platform like this that wraps around the tree with a ratchet strap. So this can move like this and I can move it and the camera sits on this piece right here so I can move it up around side to side, twist and turn. So I'll be able to film my hunts next year when I'm hunting by myself. So that'd be pretty cool. So next year if I shoot anything, it'll be hopefully, fingers crossed, a lot better footage than that. But at least I did get somewhat of the shot on here. I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but I just never really got the chance to. And now I'm basically doing it just cause well, I need to post it cause it's almost been like two months since I've actually shot the deer. So the gun I actually used to shoot it was actually a muzzle loader. You could probably tell by all the smoke, but yeah, it was a muzzle loader. It's actually my brother's gun and he took my stepdad's rifle that he shot his deer with. And well, yeah, so I had to use my brother's muzzle loader, which I'm not complaining because hey, it dropped that dude. And yes, I did shoot it once because boy, you only got one shot with the muzzle loader, so don't miss. I didn't, I hit it like, say if I'm like this, I hit it like up here, I think. So it was a lung shot and it just dropped it straight to the ground and it kicked around for like two minutes and then it was dead because my stepdad actually walked up to it two minutes after I shot and it was fully dead. So we got to be able to, we hold, held the antlers and stuff like that. We actually went into town and got like a few things for breakfast while my brother was still hunting. And so then we came back afterwards, drug it out of the woods. And then while well, we brought it up to the barn and you know, gutted it and well, then we disposed of all the guts and stuff. And then we took it home and we showed my dog and my mom and everything. So yeah, it was pretty cool. And then it was a few days after that, we took it to the taxidermist. So I'm getting the deer. It's gonna be straight on with his ears out like that. So it's gonna, the rack's not gonna look big, but I don't really care. I just want it. And yes, I am paying for the full thing. So um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Can't wait to see what it looks like. And I actually got another deer head outside that I found last year, like during January, I think. So we're probably gonna take that out up to the taxidermist too and get a European mount. So that'd be pretty cool too. Then I'll have three deer heads in my room. Hope you guys did enjoy this video and hopefully I get to shoot a bigger deer next year, but you never know. It's all about luck. And then if you're sitting in the stand at the right time or not, so. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the videos. And if you're not already, go to the subscribe button. Leave those as a video. Turn your post notification on my own Instagram. If you want to see videos like this, just comment down below. That's pretty sure for the video. So, and until next time, peace out, boys.